We know this is like the meat in the sandwich that you're here for. We know that you love this segment. Chris, can you please tell us what is up next? Go for it. Man, as always, we are fresh from the comic shop. That is right. Fresh from the comic shop. Fly from the pressing salon. And this week is our last week with the sponsorship of Whatnot. Whatnot is giving away 9.8 slabs. They've been giving away for the past three weeks. And look at this one right here. This is not a rerun. We got two of them, though. We got two yep. of them. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, 55 second print. That Gleason cover is just gorgeous. And that is a 9.8. We've been getting away 9.8 slabs all through this whatnot promotion. And hey, some of you people are like, hey, we, we're here every episode, but we still want to know what not is. Well, hey, guess what? We're going to be able to tell you what what not is. It is. What not is. They combine the safe buying platform of eBay with a video component of Twitch. Their mission is to bring together collectors and enthusiasts to safely buy, sell, and connect. Uh, the user interface is absolutely incredible on here. It literally is like watching eBay. And this is, this is the next level in terms of these live sales that we've seen become so popular through this pandemic. And uh, just to see them continue on, um, whatnot will be taking the baton and running. Chris and I don't bullshit you on this. We do not pump stuff we don't believe in. We absolutely believe in whatnot. And as you can see, somebody won a sweet Funko Pop there. Uh, check it out, guys. Um, it, it's really, really intuitive and amazing user interface. Now, the way to win uh, and, and be entered to submit the way you guys have done that in the past is you must be signed up to WhatNot. You must follow Comic Book Canon on WhatNot. Uh, the link is down below to sign up on WhatNot. It is our special link. And I, uh, we also have it right here. I mean, look at that. You can't click on that, but it's just going to give you an idea or something to look for down below. Uh, you must follow Comic Book Canon on WhatNot. Then it's just regular fresh from the comic shop. That's right. Post a pic of your fresh get on Instagram. Tag us at comic book canon, but also use the hashtag fresh from the comic shop. That is right. Fresh from the comic shop. F F T C S. We will continue on with fresh from the comic shop next week. We're going to talk to whatnot, see if they want to continue on with this promotion. We thought it went very well. We'll see what they have to say. But that's what happens with these promotions. You always got to, to re up your contract, so to speak. Anyways, you guys sent a lot of fresh gets in this week. So we're just going to start as you guys know, the last week, of the month, it's just Chris and I. It's like date night for us, right? With you guys <laughs> as well. Uh, but we do not have a guest. So it'll be Chris and I sharing our fresh gets uh, and yours as well. We're going to get right into it though with your fresh gets. And again, guys, to win here, th there's criteria. The presentation, the way that you composed your shot is important. Yep. The yep. cover. Yep. Could be a very, you know, interesting cover or what have, have you. And the uniqueness of the book. And the, if there's a story behind it, all of those things combined make a great submission. It doesn't have to be all those things, though. So just do your best, people. Just do your best. All right, here we go. Starting it off, we have my bad, too. This is my bad. Dan De La Torre. Mm. Uh, I missed his submission from last week. We're going to have it this week. He will be on Spine Takes tomorrow. Their link is below. Uh, but this is Fantastic Four, number 50. Uh, Legacy is 479. And as he said, I bought this simply because I couldn't resist this cover. It's a rare, silent comic, no dialogue at all. I love that. This cover is awesome. I don't know who did this cover, but it looks a lot like Barry Windsor Smith. I don't think it's him, but it's very, very detailed and impressive. Great pickup, um, Dan. And again, he'll be on Spine Ticks tomorrow. Link is down below to Spine Ticks. You should be following them anyways. They run a great show each and every week, as well as other content. Uh, all right. Next up we have... Son of Comics, uh, what if Planet Hulk? Yeah. Number one cameo first appearance of Scar, Son of Hulk. There's a lot of rumors going out there, people, that Scar will be in She-Hulk, uh, the She-Hulk series. I that'd be that that's interesting. I don't know how they would do that, Chris, but uh it would definitely be interesting. Yep. Next up, we have Toys and Blasters with Ooh. the nice house on the lake. The uh oh, these are all variants. All of them yeah. are Variants, uh, good grabs there, man. Great grabs. Uh, JDS Comics and Collectibles got this from Bryce Comics Instagram live sale. It's signed by Tom King with a certificate of a uh, of uh, authentic authentication. Uh, that is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Bane cover. Loving that pickup as well. Um, I 
Blurred him twice. Anyways, Disney Family Collectibles. Guys, we get inundated. We love that you guys are doing this each and every week. It's just hard to keep up at times. Uh, Disney Family Collectibles got these beauties in awesome. Miko Cyan covers, as always. Venom, number 35, the 200th issue. That is an amazing cover. Loving the the reflection in, in Venom's yep, eyes. Yep. And you got the null, the null logo. Uh, and then House of L Comics. He was uh, celebrating Father's Day. Father Day gift from the kids. The first appearance of Vixen in that Action Comics. Looking, that looks like a, definitely a Silver Age book right there. I should have gotten the number on that, and I didn't. I, I was lazy. I apologize, Mr. House of Bell, and I hope you enjoyed your Father's Day. It looks like you did. And then Neil Floyd here. Neil Floyd 79. This is my first purchase from A1 Comics. Shout out nice. to Chris. I didn't know yeah, about them until I started watching Journos. Uh, thanks for the recommendation. This is the first cameo of Apocalypse. Um and will hold me over till I can find a first full appearance in good condition. Like Chris says, sometimes you need to get the next best thing. Chris, you are an influencer. Neil Floyd, listen to you. I'm humble. All right, let's see what you got for your first fresh get of the week. Chris, what do you got? All right, guys. Uh, my first pick right here. This is actually an AOK from an eBay store called the Latimer Collection. And I want to give a big shout out to Daniel and team. I made it a point to make one of my fresh gets, one of the, the books that they gifted me. They also gifted me a book for my 10K contest to give away. Um, if you guys, I do want to let you know, if you go and check out my video on my channel that I dropped earlier this week, it was entitled, uh, I, this mass, I got this massive box and I didn't know what was in it. Something like that. Go check out that video. There's a link in there to the Latimer collection on, on eBay. Go give them a follow. Uh, I'm bidding on some of their books right now. Really awesome people. Great, great store. I got Marvel premiere number 19. Mm. The first appearance of Colleen Wing. Mm. Just a beautiful book. Very nice of them. I'm truly humbled by their kindness. I know Daniel, He's he's been a big... Uh, a, a friend of the channel for a very long time. So uh, to re to have received this is very, very humbling. And that's just a beautiful book. That's a great book, especially if they're looking to do the, um, what is it? The Sisters of, uh, gosh, like Misty Knight and her. I, I can't remember. Yep. What the, there, there's been rumor of that, but I'll tell you what, I hope they bring back everybody except for Dan, the dude who played Danny <laughs> Rand from yeah. all his Netflix characters. Cause I thought Colin yep. Wing was awesome. Uh, yeah. I, I really did. Uh, Carcom US. No, we do not have a co-host the last week of each month. It's only Chris and I. It's our date time. One on one with you guys participating as well. I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. Anyways, that's a great pickup, Chris. I really, really am into that. Really like it. I'm also into what you guys sent in as well. We got into Oblivion with the Thor 200. I love this cover. Look at that. Very timely yep. as well with the Loki series going on. Next up, we have Wise Guy Collectibles. War of the Bounty Hunters, number one. Boba F he, he made it into a Boba Fett shelf with the Funko Pop that. action figures. The giant Funko Pop. I really, really like that. But yeah, uh, I haven't I haven't started reading War of the Bounty I'm waiting for my shipment from um, fresh um, uh, TFAW to come in before I start reading them. But uh, I am fascinated to see what's going on there because we got a lot of cool bounty hunter stuff going on with Bad Batch, which we barely talk about. We should. Uh, anyways, I'm, I'm enjoying Bad Batch as well. Cyclonic Rage Marvel Zombies, number one, with the other Gleason variant for, I, I, I think that's a Venom book there. I'm not quite sure. Guys, I did not do the homework this week because yeah, I was Venom, very busy. Venom, Venom 200. Venom 200. Okay, got it. Decor Collectibles. This week's comic haul, nothing better than going to a local comic shop with the kids knowing Father's Day is coming up. They know exactly what to tell mom to get me. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there raising the future members of this community. That is very nice of you to say that. I hope, again, all of you guys had a great Father's Day as well. I did, Chris. I hope you did too. I, I, we haven't talked uh, about Father's Day. But, um, yeah, it was nice for me. Was it nice for you? Mine involved a lot of journos drama, to be quite honest. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I hope it didn't take too much. That was your day. Your one day. Maybe your birthday, too. Anyways, moving on. We got uh, we got Comic Demon. Got to, got, got to go back and finish going through bins. A little double back. A little double back binning. Found the, uh, Luke Cage's second appearance. Uh, that is fantastic. Luke Cage, too. Uh, that is a nice, nice book right there. 
Gosh, I love that term. Uh, a little double back binning. Uh, we got Comic Ozzy. Comic, I love this color. 90s goodness yeah. right here. First battle between Punisher and Wolverine. Uh, and Jim Lee did the cover right there. I'm liking, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the that that um, that classic McFarlane cover in the background top right, right there, the Hulk cover with Wolverine and Hulk. Kamikaze always kind of composes his shots amazingly, I have to say. Uh, that's how you do it, guys. Chef Artie Harris, amazing Spider-Man, number one, signed by San Lee, John Romita, and Dan Slott. That is a power trio right there. That is a great cover. I do believe that's a variant from the amazing Spider-Man, number one. Uh, nice pick up there. Mike Dyson, $20.99. Ultimate Spider-Man with Moon Knight. I found me a couple in the wild yesterday, three bucks each. I was super stoked. Stoked. I like that Moon Knight design for uh, from the Ultimate Universe. Really sleek. Uh, real, I, I really, really dig that. So great pick up there. Mike Dyson, great pick up indeed. All right, guys. I'm going to go to my first fresh get of the week. Chris, it happened to me. It caught up to me. I've had, I've had a resounding success ordering on eBay resounding success uh, yeah and uh, the new thing i've been doing because i've been getting up early in the morning is just seeing what 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 uh ebay you know uh what ebay bids are ending soon within an hour or yep, so yeah i found a sweet alpha flight lot right with a book that i'm always looking to get it's alpha flight 19 it's shaman's daughter uh she, she first appears as the talisman uh, and that's a character to be looking out for. Again, they're going for young, diverse characters. And she's a really good character. And again, it's John Byrne artwork. I love John Byrne artwork. I was like, for five bucks, it was like five books. It was also an early Jim Lee, because uh, as we know, Jim Lee did it in the 40s or 50s of the of, of that series. <sighs> well, I got it. <coughs> 10 bucks all in, including shipping. Um, and Chris, it came to me in a manila envelope that was like, it wasn't big enough for the books. Oh, and no. all I had was inside a, a mylar, not a mylar actually, just a a comic book bag, all five books. Wow! I did get my Alpha Flight number nineteen, first talisman, beautiful cover, John Byrne. Loving I'm assuming it. you rebagged and boarded it. Oh yeah, come on, Chris. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, and it was not. This isn't in the best shape at all. Uh, uh, I'm still happy I got this. I love this cover. Yeah. I love this book. Um, but. It caught up to me, Chris, and that was my first, first, like, oh, shit. I, yeah. Anyways, it's happened to the best of us. Am I right, Chris? Yep. <laughs> to the best the of our us. stories. I hope you contacted that seller and, uh. Nope. Didn't, I, I get, I did, I feel bad about giving you a negative review, too, because it was really cheap, and I was like, you know what, you get what you pay for sometimes. Uh, what I did do was give a neutral review. The shipping was fast. It was cheap. But I was like, the packaging, you know, I said in the comments, I'm like, the packaging was terrible. And I explained why it was terrible. Well done. Well done. I, yeah. that, that's fair. That's a fair. I, it's, really, it's really hard for me to give a negative review. You have to be yep, really me too. I think I don't think I've ever done it before, actually. Anyways, moving on uh, to your <laughs> fresh guests, the audience here. What do we got? Oh, I love this. This is another good example of presentation. The way you well, set it up. What's that? Let's see it. Let's see it. Are you Are you yelling at me? What, what, what? I don't appreciate Let's it. Let's see it! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, chill out. Jamagu, uh, and here it comes. Jam Jamagu, found this at a great Ooh. price. Hello, my daughter's here, guys, for Fresh from the Couch. Oh, she's she's wanting yeah. to check out the Fresh Gets, too. Yep, you can't sleep. Well, guess what? You're going to have to sleep because... She wants to do my meeting with me because we tell her it's, it's oh. a meeting. Well, I would love for you to do that, but right now it is so late. No, you're definitely ready to go to bed. Chris, I'm going to have to have you kind of, um, this is what we call just stretch here, right? In the, in the yep. bed. Stretch. So Chris, Don't I'm going to bring you up full screen. I'm going to bring you up. We're going to have some fun. To, uh, to bed here. Yep. All right. So we're going to kind of uh, uh, cheat a little this week. We'll get back to your guys' fresh gets, but I did not pick this as my fresh get. And I wonder if Jeff's going to hear it. He may have been watching my show. I showed this off on uh, Friday Night Live just about an hour ago. I did an unboxing. I unboxed it uh, on the show. I didn't pick it for my fresh get, but since we have some extra time, I'm going to cheat and show this beauty off. Thor number 133, the first full appearance of Ego, the living planet. I am going big. I am going ham. 
on my Thor run right now. I do believe I only need 13 more books plus a few more that are in like the 500s and something that came out in like 97. Um, Because the only ones that I need are, I still need 337. I need the first appearance of Better Ray Bill. And that's going to be a tough one, especially if we, I mean, if we get an official announcement of of him showing up in the MCU, because that book has already been hot. I don't know if I'm going to be able or when I'll be able to get my hands on, on that book. But I need basically issue 129, uh, 140, a couple of other uh, ones in the 140s, 152, uh, one, a couple of 150s after that, 193, 229. I still need 229, which has the uh, the ad for Hulk 181. And then that's it. And then that is it. I, 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 I got to complete my Thor run. It's I have to. I just have to. I'm trying to pretend like I knew exactly what you're talking about, too. <laughs> but I'm assuming yeah, you well, this, 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 again, this, right? this was my my cheat. Well, this wasn't. I hope this counts as a cheat because I had to fill in because I still have two fresh gets. No, that's fair. That's fair. It was it was on okay. me. You, you did okay. me a favor. It's all good. Awesome. But we're going to get back to Jamago. I apologize. Yes, let's do it. Profusely, Jamago. Uh, here we go. Uh, we got Jamago. Finally found this at a great price. I have a feeling this might be where they're going with Carol Danvers. She's too powerful mm-hmm. for Earth. Found stories. And the binary storyline fits in well with the cosmic direction the MCU is heading. Plus, this would be up the Captain Marvel name. This would up the Captain Marvel name for Monica Rambeau. Not to mention a great way to introduce Rogue. I couldn't agree more with that. That's a beautiful I cover. said the exact same thing in my top 10 X-Men books to invest in video uh, about a month ago i i absolutely and i think i brought it up on the show a little bit too um jeff but it's it's definitely something that they can do with the carol danvers character yeah absolutely and look at how beautiful that's a, such a beautiful cover too and at a 9.6 jamago yep. congratulations on that again guys that's a really nice composition the way it's i mean it's just yep. it's not related to anything in the surroundings there but i just like how we set that up that's nice anyway it's very it's very uh what's up? calming too it, I it love that outdoors feel. <laughs> definitely calm. I think he's from Hawaii, Jamago. Anyways, Nerds Being Geeks, Two of Dracula, number 55, written by Mar Wolfman, and art by Gene Colan, classic, and Tom Palmer Sr. Collecting this run has been a real pain in the neck, but the stories are something I can really sink my teeth into. It would have been it would have been nice to get the blade issues before they jumped in price, though. These current prices are driving me batty. I'll see myself out. Well done, nerds being geeks. Well driving done. me batty. Well, I there you can count it down below as well, but I like I liked what was going on. That was very creative, too. Uh, right now, we got uh, MCATS 910, Avengers West Coast 94, found at my local comic shop. This very clean copy. Thanks, Brian, at Phil's Comics. First time roadies called War Machine. Um, yep. It was the armor was called uh, War Machine before that. Uh, so yeah, this is Avengers West Coast '94. That's a good get right there, especially with this Armor Wars series coming up. We got Neighbor to the North, Spider Verse number one, the second print. I found the second print this morning at the shop. Now my first print has a friend. This could also be Multiverse Monday right here on the cover and a fresh from the comic shop. That is a nice pickup right there. Look at that. I'm really digging that cover. I'm not familiar with that issue, that second print. That is a very nice looking cover. A lot of people, as we know, going for those second prints, they're they're going from a premium too, uh, especially the ones that are a little bit, you know, because you have the ultimate fallout that is similar to the first one, except you could see Miles' first phase. But a lot of people are going for those different a variety of covers, also the lower print run. Anyways, I digress. Moving on. Scalise Comics. After searching and searching, I can finally announce wow. I have secured a 9.8 copy of Something is Killing the Children, number one. Guys, this is the American Library Association, ALA, uh, exclusive. There's only two copies at the 9.8 on the CGC census. Wow. Good for you, Scalise. Good wow. for you, man. That is great. That's big. We got Spider Web, Ghost Rider 14, Glow in the Dark, my recent fresh get. I used to have doubles of this book, so when the opportunity came around, I just had to get it. Chris, this is one of my favorite 90s books. I It blew me away, this cover. Yep. Uh, Mark Texera is just a master, and the fact that this glowed in the dark, I absolutely, absolutely adored it. Uh, Another uh, awesome, awesome setup, too. It's a whole world of yeah. 
Like, yeah, he's got, yeah, a ton, yeah. I'm not sure what's going on. In the, oh, it's a Brooklyn in the background. Ghost Rider. Yeah. I don't think he hails from Brooklyn, but he does have some uh, that sweet Ghost Rider action figure on the on the right. Anyways, uh, Chris, let's just get into your official second fresh get of the week. What do you got? Okay, okay. So I did a big shout out to Latimer Collection on eBay. Uh, with this fresh get, I got to give a big shout out to Comic Tom. Uh, many of you know who uh, he is. <laughs> I went ahead and, and went out and got me a Comic Tom mystery mail call mystery box. Um, I'm not huge on variants. We know that his mailbox, his mail, his mailboxes, his mail call boxes um, are heavily focused on variants. He does his exclusive variants in them, uh, but this one for this last month, I was like, "That's the variant I would like to get my hands on," and I did it. And it's something killing the children. Ooh. 16, Raph uh, Rossetti, I believe his name is. So this is the Comic Tom exclusive. I didn't get the Virgin variant that was scattered in some of them too. That would have been awesome. That one's going for like 125, 150 on eBay right now. This one's going for a good amount of money too. But uh, just a beautiful cover. You know, I got to support a fellow uh, YouTuber, and uh, you know, I was I was decently impressed. So. Yeah, but but this is something I'm not like I said, I'm not huge. When you get somebody that's not huge on variants, but is willing to spend some money on a variant, that that says something. So really happy about this beautiful book. That is a beautiful cover. Like I'm not that huge into variants as well, but if there's a cover out there that just like hits you, it's like, wow. There's a cover coming out. I cannot remember the title, the, the issue number, but it's a, a Miles cover where it's like a cap 80th anniversary. And he's yeah, he's got it like a it's like a hybrid of his suit and cap it's and just very amazing that thing looks dope guys it's it absolutely incredible anyway so that's a good example of something that hits you even if you're not a collector of variants so uh good stuff right there good 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 stuff moving on to more good stuff we got demented Corey. i like that name amazing fantasy oh. 15 is the first appearance of amadeus show this is a very hot book a lot of people are are speculating that he will be in the mcu at some point um, used to be the totally awesome Hulk. Now he is Braun. Then next up, we got Nukes Comics. I recently picked up this copy of the Amazing Spider-Man issue 58 Legacy 859 from Zeus Comics. Loving it. Uh, Nukes Comics, he's got the Spidey. He's always picking up Spider-Man issues. Really, really digging it. Um, <clears throat> coveted Comics with Green Lantern number 78, signed by Neil Adams, written by Dennis oh. of Neil. Art by Neil Adams. Picked up this classic Neil Adams signed book for a buddy of mine, only he doesn't know it yet. I thought I would post a pick while it's still in my uh, PC. It's definitely in your collection. Neil Adams, I mean, guy's a master. He's an absolute master. And that, I mean, those Green Lantern, Green Arrow run, I mean, that that run, uh, he just, he, with Denny O'Neill too, they hit up on some really yeah. you know, interesting social issues and things like that. Fantastic, fantastic pickup, coveted comics. Enjoy it for as long as you have it. Super good on you, too, for, for paying it forward and giving it to your buddy. Uh, we got Super Crispy Comics uh, with uh, found some great 25-cent finds this week. So first for Freshman Comic Shop is Captain America 173. It's not every day you see Cap and Sam stealing some shit. Uh, <coughs> I love that cover, too. Really love that cover. Uh, C to the – oops. I uh, went a little ahead of, ahead of myself here. What, what's going on here? Um Oh, my bad. New Comics Journey is next. I received the the huge haul, both in bulk and value, from at Tim Eleven C at the Meta for Ick Alakamik. I don't know. I can't. I can't read <laughs> that, that tag, that handle. Auctions. Thank you, Tim, for the the great deal and the great packaging. I mean, you see an X Men Four. You see some sort of. I think yep. a Scream. I see a Silver Age Thor back there too, and that is a stack and upon stack of comics. I love this. I, I showed this by accident. Sorry, but I love this. I know Corkermus is in the um, he's in the chat, but I love, love, love this cover. Daredevil Volume One, Number Two Thirty Two. It's the first new. Always love these creepy eyes. May a clean, may need a clean and press for this one. But gosh, that cover is gorgeous, creepy, all the good stuff right there. C to the G. Look at this presentation. I like this too. Uh, C to the G. Uh, nice. Uncanny X Men Two Sixty Six. With this issue, I complete my 248 to 288 run. I started with only getting books by Jim Lee, but it quickly became everything else in between. From uh -huh. Sylvester, Wills, Wills, to Kubert, to iconic covers and first appearances only a handful of months. And thankfully, I didn't break the bank. Good on you, man. That's a great, great run you've uh, 
you've uh, you've picked up there. And guys, this book, you, you probably see it in my background, but I'm really happy that Expensive Paper got this. Uh, well, this happened this weekend. There are too many value books out there right now, but this feels like one. This book has the holy trinity of comics, first appearance, origin, and first cover. Uh, I've been saving up for a bigger book, and this one was just the right price. That's a great, great book. I love that pickup right there. And he, he, E. Marvell, next up. He was one of our finalists, I think, the first week. He always is picking up interesting, interesting covers. Please keep sending them in. Uh, he sends a few a few in a week, and sometimes it's like, man, we got to change this up. And we did, because he had a Department of Truth, but he had a Department of Truth last week. He had another one this week. But this one right here, Absolute Carnage, issue number one. I love this take on the serial variants, just like season one of the Batman Adventures continue, which I have graded at 9.8. He had that for his fresh from the comic shop one week as well. Murder O's. I mean, that is <laughs> that is just absolutely fantastic. That's a great, great cover. All right. My next fresh get of the week is one of these books that – it's, it's a current book, modern book that I, I, I'm reading and I love, love, love. It's Geiger by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. I, I, I really do like Jeff Johns' writing. I'm not so happy hearing about what how he presented him, himself on set with some of the films. That's – Hearsay, I don't, I don't, we don't know what's fact, but he's a great writer, but I love Gary Frank's art even more. Guys, if you're not reading this series, you are missing out. It's a fantastic series. Post-apocalyptic uh, dude that was going through cancer, had a cancer treatment. There was fallout. He got some crazy powers. It's so good, especially the art. I encourage all of you to pick this up. Uh, Geiger, this is Geiger number three, by the way. I didn't say that. I think this came out this week. Read it this week. I, I love it. It's one of those that I, I immediately read. It goes to the top of the pile, my huge pile that I never have time to read. Anyways, moving <laughs> on, though. More of your fresh gets. We got Michael.G.Comics. It arrived yesterday in the mail, and I'm so happy about it. It is my oldest book and the first one on Instagram. Oh. Guys, you know what's crazy? And we, we were very appreciative. Some, some of you guys are starting Instagram accounts just for fresh from the comic shop. And this was his first post, and we are very grateful for that. Amazing. I mean, look at this. You know, you got a mortise right there, and we all know the connection with Kang, so that's a great book to have as well. Uh, good stuff, michael.g.comics. I do believe you're in here in the chat as well. Um, we got time. All right, Chris, uh, I didn't talk to you about this, and it's, you know, we, we, we say one submission for everybody, but Tommy Boy Collectibles has been killing it with his submissions, and for a lot of us, our guest co-hosts and Chris and I, you're literally in the top five each and every time, and it's just you just crush it. So I had to take two pictures of the same submission just for the presentation alone. And he sent in three for this. I don't know. I'm hyping this up. Uh, so you can't see what book it is here, but look at this car. I mean, I don't nice. know if you all remember. He, he had his wife's car the last time. It was a purple. I don't even know what it was. It was a purple Cadillac or something. This is, I, I believe, I'm not a car guy, but this looks like a Corvette. Uh, yeah. He says, Car parts, parts, or comics. I guess I choose comics this week. My new pickup, and here it is in the car, is uh, X Men number nine, first meeting of the X Men and the Avengers. It's an 8.0. I, I just love it. I love the presentation. I love how he incorporates, um, you know, his love for cars and his love for comic books. And uh, keep doing that, Tommy Boy Collectibles. I, I thoroughly enjoy that. Chris has enjoyed your submissions as well. That purple, uh, that purple car you submitted a few, a, a few weeks ago. Definitely sticks in the head. Oh, that's, good stuff. that's how you do presentation, people. I really dig it. Um, Half Court, 757. Something is killing the children. Number 16, three of those. Also, um, uh, Del the Deladera variant and the Valentine Pash variant, um, and the uh, which is the cover C incentive. Good stuff, guys. Good, good stuff. Uh, I think 16 is the last time that they're going to have like a ton of variants for something is killing the children. So good stuff. I'm, I'm picking that up. We have 080879 lines, aka Surge, which hit with his second post. Amazing. Right. Number 57. What a great cover. Look at that. Kazar just hanging out right there. Not really hanging out with Spider Man. It looks like they're getting into some sort of a, a fight. Uh, anyways, moving on. We got Vinny Whitlock. Mail call today. Fantastic Four number nine and Fantastic Four 27, the third Silver Age appearance of the Submariner and the first <sighs> appearance of Doctor Strange on the cover. I love Silver Age comics, especially the Fantastic Four. Thank you to Comic Clear Oh, Comic Clear Boards for the fast shipping and taking such beautiful care of the personal collection. Get these boards, you won't regret it. I've heard of these Comic Clear Boards, Chris. I believe you you have as well. They're 
Yep. They're, they're bags and boards. Basically, they're boards, actually, that cover the whole comic. You don't need a bag. And they're clear. Well, no, they're, they're boards, but they work in a way, because, yeah, they, they sent me some. I did a video on it. They work in a way where you can sandwich the book in between the boards and then put it in a bag. And then oh, you get okay. the protection. You get the protection on both sides, and you don't even know that there's a board in there because they're so crystal clear. Yeah, it's that, absolutely amazing. Those are great. Yeah, but also, Vinnie Whitlock it always kills it with his submissions. They are just amazing Silver Age. Yeah. Games. So yeah. Good stuff right there. Uh, cover Junkie Comics. This right here is a ex per perfect example of a great story. Cover Junkie Comics. I read a lot as a child, and these are some of my favorite stories. I just started collecting comics in February of this year, and as a 41-year-old, getting stuff like this really makes me feel like a kid again. My mother-in-law found these at a garage sale for $5. My submission for this week is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Classic Illustrated from April 1944. She got it for $5, Chris. Nice. Uh, good condition, and the cover is amazing. Good stuff, man. See, that is a perfect example of a great story. We want to hear more stories like that. Um, Union Josh Comics. <clears throat> we got Daredevil 62, the third appearance of Nighthawk and the UK price variant. I'm a huge fan of Squadron Supreme, and I had been tracking down their early appearances. I had no idea this was Nighthawk's third appearance when I picked it up. I just saw him on the cover and got it regardless. Now I'm excited to have this awesome high-grade book in the collection. Congratulations on that. Union, Josh. I like this book. This is very timely, everybody. Uh, hang in with Spidey. Picked up two great books today. The Mighty Thor 372, which is this book right here, which is uh, – got ties to the TVA, which is in the, the Loki series, and Sensational She-Hulk number one. I saw that one. I decided to go with this. Sorry, guys, if don't hate me. Good friend Ian, a.k.a. Hood Rat, from Team Nerd Hurt, who just had their thousandth um, sub episode last night. Uh, they crushed it with a ton of special guests right there. So Hood Rat Comics, uh, y'all know I keep it light for my new comic book day. I try to pick up my personal necessities, and here they are, my favorite being uh, Bitterroot, Juneteenth cover. That's a very nice cover. Nice, uh, nice pick of the week by uh, Hip Hops and Me. Our, uh, he's a guest co-host alumnus, as well as he's the only one in our um, alumnus hall of fame. Isn't that right, Chris? Uh, anyways, right? I, see, I see Stray Dog <laughs> in there. Someone's killing the children. Notting Hill. Good stuff right there. Uh, this is another one. I'm impressed by this pickup. Mark Lenniker, fresh pickup of an old book. Looney Tunes, number three, January 1942. Listen to this, people. If you're out there hunting for stuff, listen to this. It's the third appearance of Bugs, Porky, Elmer, and Friends. First appearance of uh, Candy with Walt Kelly Art on the, in, on the inside cover and possibly interior, too. It is a Dell comic, but this was before they called themselves Dell. Get this book from – he said he got this book from used, uh, used Bookshop. I bring this up. Because I always say when hunting golden age books, especially on a budget, do not ignore vintage used antique shops. Whether in person or online, you never know what merch and good buys you might find. Keep your traditional and non-traditional options open. Excellent advice, Chris. Yep. Excellent advice. I like that. And that's a very unique book, which is some of the criteria we do talk about. Uh, Chris and I are keeping notes. We are picking the two finalists this week um, because we don't have our guest co-hosts because it's date night. Right? Anyways. Uh, moving on, Chris, what is your third fresh get of the week? All righty, all righty, all righty. By the way, Jeff, I did pick up a couple more uh, Warlock and the Infinity Watch number ones this week. Uh, but it took a lot, a lot of restraint to not pick them for my fresh gets. I, I, just, I have to tell you something. I don't know if I've told I you. For you. I don't know if I told you this, but I, I picked one up for you. And we had a, uh, we sent out our 500 sub winner contest, uh, the spec uh, grab bag. Uh, and by accident, I put that in there. <laughs> that was yours. I didn't mean to put that in there for him. Uh, sorry. Anyways, I owe you, I owe I, you a copy. I'm broken hearted. I am I so broken hearted. I know. I, you know, <laughs> instead of 26, you're going to have 25. Sorry. <laughs> All right, well, so yeah, instead of picking one of my however many that I have, another one, guys, I just, it's really funny because I was never really into Thor as a kid. I don't know why. I was into Spider-Man. I was into X-Men, uh, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Uh, you know, Thor 
never really, I think I own maybe five Thor books and, uh, and through my childhood until I was adult. Now I'm so close to having a complete Thor run. So technically this isn't Thor volume one, but it's a journey into mystery. Mm. 122. So uh, I, I have been picking up some of these if I can get them on the super cheap. Uh, simply because, you know, Thor Volume 1 does take over uh, the number Journey into Mystery. Journey into Mystery ends at 125. Thor begins at 126. So uh, although I don't think I will ever own a complete run of Journey into Mystery, I love still getting some, uh, especially, the you, you know, that showcase Thor, the later ones, uh, to add to the collection. So... <clears throat> I just, I love the covers on these. It's all beautiful. I don't know who the art is. This, yeah, no, that's not, I don't think that's Kirby on this one. Uh, there is an autograph on it, though, as you can see right here. And I usually hate writing on covers, right? Pen marks, writing, anything like that. That's a pet peeve. But this one is, I, I this is really cool because this was obviously like some kid scribbling his name and it looks like it's a part of the cover it looks like it's the on the floor <laughs> so i was like you know what that's kind of cool some kid owned this like in the 60s and he was so happy to own it that he wrote his name on it and now it's mine and i love the nostalgia about that so there you go you've been on an absolute tear with these silver age books absolute tear and i gotta say kudos everybody's loving this in the chat here uh, guys, keep the keep the comments coming. I need to focus on something. We're going to take a, a pause right quick from uh, Fresh from the Comic Shop because this uh, this has a lot to do with our, our our kind of addiction to social media. Uh, Tom Tormey, good friend Tom Tormey. I'm losing my mind. I keep double tap on the screen to like people's posts. <laughs> All this does is pause the video. I need to take a social media break. You absolutely do. I mean, oh, no. we need your content, so I don't know how you're going to do that, but Goodness gracious. Uh, <laughs> that's a problem. Anyways, moving on. Moving on to more of your fresh gets of the week. We have our, our, our winner last week, Fat Boy Snacks with the Cobra Command, the G.I. Joe number one and Cobra uh, oh. Commander Helmet. Fat yep. Boy Snacks. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. This will be in the mail. This will be in the mail next week. You heard that, Fat Boy Snacks. You heard it. You heard it. Well, he kept the G.I. Joe theme going on here. Oh, I right. love this book right here. Uh, G.I. Joe number 60, oh, signed by Tom McFarlane. He nice. penciled, uh, and he also penciled the issue. Great gem for my growing G.I. Joe and McFarlane co uh, collection. Loving the Serpentor right there. Uh, Tom McFarlane had a nice run on this G.I. Joe series. I was absolutely into it. I loved it myself. And here we go. Our good friend, the bearded one. He is our, he's a, definitely our DC resident. Definitely our Lobo resident. He loves him some Lobo, as you can see from this wizard comics. Here's some Lobo goodness for my com comic book canon, fresh from the comic shop submission. Wizard Magazine, issue 31 from March 1994. She's a low to mid-grade copy, but I'm definitely planning to read this sucker. He loves himself. Some Lobo. No doubt about that. I'm loving this setup here, too. Caution Comics, Daredevil, issue number 81. Saw a reprint of this in the store, but asked myself if they would have, had, if they would have it in the back issues. And it was. 20 bucks. Not a bad find. When in doubt, buy the real book and not the reprint. I can't say that always applies, Chris. I can't say that always applies, but I like. Well, I like, I like it, it, as long as it is, it doesn't, uh, you know, uh, make you take a second mortgage out on yeah. your home or something like that. Yeah, you know? yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, but moving on, we got Flap Slap Junior picked up this little. Gem, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, back in the day when Marvel movies were R rated. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to the new Blade TV series. It's actually going to be a movie. Just a little correction. Uh, and Vampires coming to the MCU. That is going to be awesome. Rashad Ali is a great casting choice. We got good friend Wayways Comics. Venom number 27 is an AOK -okay from Old Man Carter Comics. Venom Funeral Pyre number one is an AOK -okay from Comic Lover 381. Venom 35 was pre ordered from Comic Elite Store. We are Venom. That's a nice little Venom. I, and I love the Agent Venom. But Agent Venom was awesome. I don't know if he's coming back or what. I, I'm still not caught up on Venom. I don't know what his deal was. I know he. I did read the part in King in Black of him jumping in. But anyways, uh, that is a great setup there, way ways. Uh, and loving how you're getting all those AOKs as well. Uh, Dave collects. Yeah, yeah. 
By the way, YouTuber right here. Follow him down below. Love this. Kevin Eastman, 1 in 25 variant he did for Carnage, Black, White, and Blood. That is, we had this cover on a couple weeks yeah. ago. That is just a, it's just a really gorgeous cover. Loving that as well. Gus, 420 and X. Incredible Hulk, number 141. I believe this is the first appearance of Doc Samson. This is fresh from the comic shop Amazon, that is. Home delivery, the city life. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and he says it's pure speculation. Uh, I think it's a good. I think it's a good pickup because he's he's a mainstay character within the MC uh, within Marvel. We'll see if he comes back in the MCU. But Abomination came back. Anyway, uh, I'm going to give my third fresh get of the week, and this is near and dear to my heart. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I showed you my Justice League America, Delaware. That's right. I'm from the state of Delaware. It's 20 minutes outside of Philly. Go Birds! Don't bring up the Sixers. But um, so I like collecting these kind of anything related to Delaware. And so I got U.S. Avengers number one. This is the Delaware variant. And they, they did 50 issues of this for the 50 states. Uh, and you got Steve Rogers, Captain America. As, uh, as yes. Delaware, Delaware's hero. I, I do believe um, uh, Luke Cage was in New York. I can't remember everybody off the top of my head, but it, it was really a, a cool variety of characters. But Delaware's the first state. And, you know, as the, the MCU film stated uh, in the title, he's the first Avenger. I don't know. I'm happy with him representing my home state. That's my third fresh get of the week. Moving on to more of awesome. your fresh gets as well. We have, who do we have, Chris? Who do we have? Oh, we got, nope, that's not who we have. Eric, AKA Azorius Tiger. Oh boy, here we go. Great. What does he got now? This guy, Here we go. this guy, just oh, because yeah. I, he goes, just because I'm uh, in a post and mood on my break here, Strange Tales 161, Nick Fury, Agent of the Shield, and Doctor Strange. It's the first appearance of Yellow Claw in the Silver Age. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what happened to that character, but I don't think they're going to be using that that name these days. Uh, it's a connotation. But anyways, either way, it's a great, great issue. Uh, look at how, is that Steranko? I don't know. It's a beautiful. Uh, I do believe so. Yeah, that's after he he took over. Yep. Beautiful cover, Eric Azores Tiger. Keep sharing them with us, man. Uh, keep sharing them with us. They're amazing. Uh, all right, so we got Newsstand Comics, Marvel Age, number ninety from nineteen ninety. Did you know Spider? This is interesting, guys. This is an interesting fact. Did you know Spider Man fourteen um, swipes this cover for an interior panel? I learned this today, so I'm guessing about five percent of you knew. I did not know. Uh, and he also had I didn't get to, to set up the, the second pick to show but it is it is that same drawing but in the yep. black costume um, this book's been hot recently because of previous Tom McFarlane's drawing 1990 Spider-Man run and it looks great it really really does look great uh, we got Shadow Rat picked up my first slab a couple weeks ago uh, nice. in the IG sale for my birthday along with four keys and ten other issues for my Howard the Duck runs his first slab at Howard the Duck. That's fantastic. He just got that in the mail this week. So congratulations on that first slab. Hope it's not your last. And then our final submission made the cutoff. Basement Brother Collectibles. Another oh, big win this week. Fresh from wow. the comic shop. Savage She-Hulk, number one. 9.8 white pages. <laughs> She's coming, guys. She is coming. And it's going to be glorious. You're going to have Abomination. You're going to have Hulk. Mark Ruffalo's in that in that project as well. It's uh, you have Titania. Fun, fun stuff. Fun stuff. All right, but that ends our fresh from the comic shop. We're going to let you know how to enter fresh from the comic shop one last time. This is our last whatnot, so you will not be eligible for 9.8. We won't have that next week, but we're going to talk to whatnot, see what we're going to figure out for maybe the following weeks. We shall see. But continue to send us your fresh gets. All you need to do here is. Post on Instagram, tag us at Comic Book Cannon, but also don't forget hashtag FFTCS for Fresh from the Comic Shop. That hashtag is very important. We can't find you unless you do that. Uh, and we'll post your fresh gats each and every week like we do. Another amazing batch, Chris. We are going to have to decide. We're going to have to huddle yeah, up and decide. I, what I, got, I got a couple. Are. We'll have it on Monday for y'all to vote, and we'll announce it on Tuesday. What's yeah. that, Chris? I got a couple noted. 